Jeez. Look at that door. Look at that blood. If I had to guess, that sign probably says something along the lines of abandon all hope ye who enter here. And if it doesn't say that, then it definitely should say that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Stalker. Shadow of Chernobyl. I think I might have found the most peaceful bit of the entire zone right here. There is nothing except for the tannoy, some birds, and that is it. It's totally quiet. It's beautiful. And a random growl in the background, yeah, whatever. But still. It's, it's notable for how quiet it is, because the rest of the game is pretty freaking noisy. Anyway. Uh, so we're going into the wild territory. Because we want to get to Yantar. And um, in order to get to Yantar, we're going to have to go through a bit of a shitstorm. Unfortunately. And, um, yeah. We need to go through this, uh. <laughs> this, this destroyed gate that clearly says, do not, do not come this way. Because something huge smashed this gate open and left blood everywhere. But uh, we're going to go anyway. Of course, I don't really know what to expect in here, to be honest with you. Because uh, so far, things have been a bit different to what I've come to expect from this game, honestly. Um, I I thought I had a pretty good idea of what would be waiting for me in, in X18 and... What was waiting for me in X18 was rather a lot more than I bargained for. So I have no idea what's actually going to be out here in the wild territory waiting for us, so. It's an empty stash. Oh my god, it is. Wolfhound, we've got visitors. Some stalker is coming right at us. What do we do? Don't you know what to do with witnesses? Finish him. And make no fuss. Make no fuss. So yeah, anyway, as, as you can hear, a bunch of mercenary assholes up there that want to kill us. Well, mercenary assholes or bandits or both, I'm not sure which. However, there could be all sorts of other shit waiting for us in the wild territory, frankly, because uh, I don't know what the mod has added, honestly. The last time I played this game, it was not with Autumn Aurora, so... Oh, there's at least one sniper trying to kill me right now. I'm becoming increasingly glad that I decided to go for this weapon with the scope. Okay, where are you? There you are. I think I've got them, judging by the blood splatters on the opposite walls. Right, you I just can't see right now. Switch ammo types while I'm at it. Right, there's at least one guy left there still. I think I should switch to this. Any goodies for me? No, apparently not. There's a bunch of anomalies right underneath this <laughs> this little room here. Um. Okay, this is the way in. This, this shotgun is outstanding. What thing, the thing I like about it as well is the fact that it actually works like a proper fucking shotgun. 
Shoot through the floor. Um, like, you know how in most games a shotgun is not very useful? It won't do any damage beyond, like... <laughs> shooting through the... yeah. Um, they won't do any damage beyond, like, halfway down this hallway. Not even that, like, a quarter of the way down this hallway. Doom, I'm looking at you. Um, <laughs> but this, the, this, the shotguns in this game, or at least this shotgun in particular, it actually works like a real shotgun, as in it will kill someone, potentially, if you shoot them twice with proper buckshot from about that range. Like, shotguns are no fucking joke. What if I... I'd love to throw a grenade up there, but... I have a feeling I might kill myself, but we'll try it anyway. Whoa! Hello! Yeah, I figured as much. Right through the um, the, the, the ceiling as well. I, I call bullshit on that, frankly, game. But all right, if you say so. I like how the description of the grenade as well it says, large blast radius should be thrown from inside cover, and apparently the ceiling does not count as cover. Jesus Christ, how many shots did you just take? Jesus. Are you wearing like a Kevlar vest or something? Bloody hell. <laughs> Short work at this lot, didn't I? Bloody. I am, I am, I am the best stalker. Oh, hello. What do we have here? Stalker suit. Not as good as my current one. Bye bye. Um, yeah, outfit repair kit. Should I use that? No, I don't need to. Nice. Nice, there's a pissed off mercenary captain out there somewhere by the sounds of it. These foolish minions have been killed. They put up a good fight though, bloody hell. Um, so, yeah, let's move on. God, what do, you, do you have knees made of glass marked one? Seriously. Military chopper is going to get shot down for some reason. Oh dear. <laughs> there goes your chopper. You're next, you political scumbags. Well, then. Fucking bulletproof assholes. I'm switching ammunition types. Oh, what have we got here? Some dead doggies. A fruit punch. Uh, I was going to say, I don't suppose there's not a hack here, is there? Well, whatever, quick save. YOLO! Oh dear. Yeah, I kind of figured that would happen. <laughs> oh dear. Dude, you have, um, you have, have an unlimited supply of bolts for a reason. You might as well use them. Oh god. Ouch. Coming in here was a terrible mistake. Mm. 
<laughs> All of this for an empty stash? Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, just forget this place. Jesus. God, that, that does annoy me about this game sometimes, the way the stash system actually works. Because there's nothing... <sighs> there's no worse kind of kick in the balls than getting to the end of a little art, you know, anomaly puzzle like that. And then basically just... Hey, look at that. That barrel's respawned. Um, and then just sort of finding an empty box. I suppose you could argue that that's just kind of part of life in the zone, as they say. You know, that's... <laughs> The game's way of reinforcing that the, the zone's a pretty nasty fucking place to be. Um, and nothing in, in the zone is fair. But, uh, from a gameplay perspective, it is kind of a bit, of a bit of an annoyance. Particularly because it means you have to do a lot more backtracking than you otherwise would in order to go and get stashes after you've discovered their locations, you know what I mean? It's sort of a bit of a pain. But I guess I can see what they were going for, you know, like it does it does make the zone feel a little bit more dynamic because you've got this, you know, basically a bunch of locations where people are sort of placing stashes of things as the game progresses. So it's not always there. You might find the place empty one day and then you come back and it's got something there the next. Um, you know what? I thought this would be a really good vantage point, but it's actually not at all, is it? It's rubbish. You know, I've never actually tried going across here before, though. New stalker. Atlas. We were attacked by mercs and half of our team was killed. Oh, dear. Help us, and I promise you won't regret. Help us break through the ambush I'm not even sure what killed me, though. I've uploaded the coordinates. Watch out. Wolfhound and his crew are by the chopper. I'm sorry, Mr. Scientist Man, but, uh... You fall... <laughs> your words have fallen on extremely deaf ears. <laughs> oh, dear. I, yeah, I really don't know what happened there. That was very strange. Um, moving on. Let's try and go the slightly less unorthodox way this time. Oh, hello. What is these? Is it the same gun as mine, except in, in absolutely shocking condition? I do you believe it is? And with a whole nine bullets as well. Oh, ten bullets! And yet, I don't care how much you want to bet. I can tell you that uh, he would have had far more than 10 bullets to shoot at me if I had not killed him at that point. I call bullshit game. I call bullshit. What do we have here? Why do I feel like this building is boarded up for a very, very good reason and I've just made a horrible mistake by coming in here? Everything, every fiber of my being is saying, nope, don't go in there. And I'm going to listen to every fibre of my being, I think. Today, at least. Can we get through here? Getting kind of sick of mercs, to be honest with you. I'd prefer to fight the military. That's it, you egghead moron. Either you give me the results, or you leave this place in a body bag. If you attack, I will destroy the information. You won't get my work. All the while, I'm getting slowly irradiated by the, while this cutscene continues. You're a smart man. Give us the info, and go where you want. If you don't want me to destroy the research results, stay away from me. Ouch. I just, I just want to get in here. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Did I just... I thought I saw a gun on the floor there, but apparently not. Alright. So, let's go get killed by some mercenaries repeatedly. 
Sounds like fun. What do you think? Viewer who cannot say anything. I say we do it. There we go. I think I'm going to switch to this. That was close. Fucking hell, hello. Shit. Oh god, hello. They've got, I've got them surrounded. It's fine. As you can see. as well. I hope it would just shoot a scientist or something. That would have been really embarrassing. Whoa! Hello? It's quiet. Too quiet. Oh, there you are. Nice camouflage. Alright. That wasn't so bad in the end. God, it's a real urban maze, this place, isn't it? Fantastically designed. I love it. Really get lost in here. That's an interesting looking gun you've got there. AK-74 Cobra. Oh, right. Okay. It's another AK-74 Cobra, just with a... Uh, actually, no, it's with exactly the same sight on it. <laughs> yeah, whatever. You can keep it. Um, got all excited there. I was thinking, oh, it's my old gun, but with a better sight on it. Nope. Afraid not. This is interesting as well, actually, by the way, because uh, these guys in the vanilla game, they these guys use a lot of NATO weapons. Uh, this is typically the part of the game where you start switching out your AK for some more Western uh, equivalents of, of, of said AK, but uh, actually this lot seem to be using mostly Russian weapons, which makes sense since they're clearly Russian slash Ukrainian mercenaries. also probably the, the game's way of balancing things differently. Why don't I just pick up the 45 ACP rounds? No, thank God. There is some sh- <laughs> this, this is just the town I live in, but there's some yelling going on. Uh, whoa, hello. Well, there is no way I'm going to be able to carry that with me. Not even slightly. Which is a, sh a very big shame, indeed. Um, <laughs> massive shame. It doesn't even come close. Um, maybe I wasn't carrying this shotgun, but... Uh, you tease me, game. You tease me. Anyway, what was I saying? Something about... Oh, yeah. The, yeah there's, there's, there's somebody outside. Just basically... I don't even want to call it yelling. Like, yelling would seem to indicate that it actually makes some sense, but there's just someone going, rah, rah. <laughs> not fucking joking, um, out, out there in the street somewhere. You probably can't hear it on this microphone because it's got some really nice noise dampening. You might be able to guess why, the, why I managed to get a microphone with, with sound dampening on it, but 
Um, yeah, it's just like, well, I, at first I thought it was literally from the game. Like there was something in the zone going, Rah! but then I realized, nope, no, that's just, <laughs> that's just the town I live in. You know, I think I might have accidentally shot a scientist. I'm not really sure though. Oh, hello. Oh, weapon repair kit, and I don't even need one. Oh well. Actually, you know what? I might as well use it. I've got a little bit of health taken off this weapon. Might as well use it now so I don't have to later. Oh, apparently we're hungry as well. Stop and have some lunch. Why not? Why not? Because you're in the middle of a war zone, you fucking idiot. But Apparently we've killed everything in said war zone, so uh, yeah, screw it. Look at them. These assholes are all dead. I got them. Uh, no, I don't think I did shoot a... Uh... I don't think I did shoot a scientist in the end. I thought one of these two might have been a scientist, but they weren't. These outfits... Were these nicked for, like, these models and stuff? Like, were they nicked from Counter-Strike or something? Because they're very, very good. I know that some of them are nicked from Metro 2033. Alright, it's a big, dark, foreboding-looking tunnel. Let's avoid that for now. If we can. Yes, looks like we can. Good. Um, what am I about to walk into? Actually, don't really don't know. Not factor around it somewhere. I've noticed, and probably people have been screaming this at me for ages, but I've just noticed that green circles appear on my minimap with this detector. God, yeah, people have been yelling this at me, I bet, in the comments for, for, for dozens of videos by now, but I've been recording so far ahead, I have not been able to see any of your feedback. So I apologize if this has been driving you completely bonkers, but, um... Although I'm not entirely sure how the logic of these circles works exactly, because I'm going to sort of, sort of towards the middle of them and I'm not getting anything. Oh, no, there we go. That's one. What was that? Uh, a flash. Ah. Another one down here. Whoa, whoa, yep, there is. Hello. I'll take you as well. What was that? Another flash. Okay, well, that's... Oh, right, okay. So I now know how my my artifact detector works. <laughs> to be fair, there's nothing in the damn district description about it. Like, I'm not going to notice unless I happen to be looking at the minimap. Well, I'm, I've got the detector out, which, as it happens, I never did until this point, so... Well, anyway, never mind. I guess when I bought this thing, I, I, it didn't come with the instruction manual, huh? Um, anyway, where the heck is... The scientist fella. There you are! Kruglov! How are you doing? I'm begging you. We were returning from Yontar when the Mercs shut down our helicopter. Could you not point your gun at me, please? I'm for information, but I know they will kill us. <sighs> Help me get to the lake and I'll tell you everything I know about what you call the brain scorcher. The barkeep, mate, will pay you well. All right, fine. Got anything to trade? Nope. Okay. Whatever you say, Mark One. But you go first and I'll follow you. I'm a third spider. So you'd better feel the ground yourself. Yeah, you I can just I can see you getting yourself killed very quickly and yet 
You are, of course, now running ahead instead of following me. 